हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर लर्डिंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट थ्री थ्री एट इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम द एक्यूरेसी इज ऑन दी लोअर साइड सो द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज मिनिमम ऑपरेशन टू मेक ऑल एरे एलिमेंट्स इक्वल ओके सो यू आर गिवेन एन एरे नम्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ पॉजिटिव एन टीचर्स यू आर ऑल्सो गिवेन एन इंटीजियर एरे क्वेरीज ऑफ साइज एम नो फॉर दी आई एथ क्वेरी यू वॉन्ट टू मेक ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स ऑफ नम्स इक्वल्स टू क्वेरीज ऑफ आई ओके यू कैन परफॉर्म दी फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन ऑन दी एरे any number of times now what is that operation you can either increase or decrease an element of the array by 1 okay so in one step you can either increase it or decrease it that doesn't matter what you do but you can do any of them okay return an array answer of size m where answer of i is the minimum number of operations to make all elements of nums equals to queries of i okay note that after each query the array is reset to the original state so it it says that in this case like this is your array right this is your array 3168 and queries is 15 so the first query 1 means how many operations do you need to make all these elements equals to 1 okay so let's see what what we can do so the first element is 3 how we can make it 1 we can basically decrease it two times right so we take two steps to make to convert 3 into 1 right we we need to convert all the elements into 1 now the next element is 1 So one is already equals to one, so no steps needed. What about six? You need to convert six into one. So how many steps do you need? Decrement it five times. Okay. So five steps here. Okay. Now what about eight? So how can you convert eight into one? Again, you need seven steps. So total number of steps are two plus five plus seven. That comes out to be fourteen. So fourteen is your answer. This is fourteen. Okay. This is fourteen. Let me erase it and let's see what about um. what do we do in the next case so queries the second query is 5 so you need to make all the elements 5 okay so 3 1 6 8 how do we make it 5 two steps needed okay how do we make 5 four steps needed how do we make 5 one step needed how do we make 5 three steps needed so what's the sum it's 2 plus 4 that is 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 3 10 so just see 10 okay so 14 and 10 are the answer meaning if you want to convert all the elements into 1 you need 14 steps if you need to convert all the elements into 5 uh, so you need 10 steps so that's what we need to do right um so let's look into the constraints so the constraints are yeah the constraints are uh, you can have uh, up to 10 raised to power 5 elements and also the number of queries that you can have is uh, 10 raised to power 5 right so a brute force approach will not work here what could be a brute force approach that for every query For every query, you traverse the whole array um, and calculate the uh, number of steps needed, right? Obviously, that will give TLE because a big O of n into m will be ten raised to power ten, which will give TLE, right? So, what what is the other approach that you can take, right? So, just see. Let's look into some observations. So, if you want to convert all the elements into one, okay? If you want to convert all the elements into one, then three one six eight, okay? How do I convert three into one? i decrement i decrement the value of 3 okay similarly <laughs> here also obviously 1 is equals to 1 here also i decrement here also i decrement uh, let's take the other example for to explain it better so suppose we want to convert the elements into 5 right 3 1 6 8 so to convert this into 5 i'll have to add 1 right to convert 1 into 5 again i'll have to add something okay However, to convert six into five, what I have to do? I have to do decrement operation, okay? And to convert eight into five, I'll have to, I'll have uh, again have to do decrement operation. So there are two sets for every query. There are two sets of values: one in which you have to increment, and one in which you have to decrement. Okay? Why we are dividing it into two sets? Because our uh, a naive approach that could come to your mind is why not add all the numbers so suppose you add all the numbers that is 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 8 okay that comes out to be uh, 18 yeah that comes out to be 18 so the total sum of values is 18 i want all the elements to be equals to 1 so that means if i convert all the elements all the four elements with value 1 so the total sum of the array will be 1 into 4 that is 4 so the sum is 18 i want the sum to be 4 i take the diff and i get 14 so you get the correct answer here right but the approach is correct coincidentally you are getting the correct answer okay because here there are two types of operation being performed right one is incrementing one is decrementing these are two sets of values okay so this is one of the observations that you need to do 
that for every query i need these two sets now what what can i do what can i do for this you can simply sort the array okay you can simply sort the array so suppose you sort the array and now if you want to convert all the elements into one or five or something like that okay so suppose you want to convert all the elements into five so you in this sorted array you can just do a binary search and see that how many elements are less than five or less than equal to five and how many elements are greater than five right so if you get these two sets so you know that suppose these are these are x elements okay then these will be n minus x elements n is the total number of elements so what i'll do what i'll do for these x elements i'll have to use the increment operation because these are less than five okay i'll have to increment and for these i have to decrement so if somehow i know the sum of these values then i can use that logic that sum of all the values less than me is suppose s1 okay then after doing this operation the resultant array will have all these elements equals to 5 so the sum will be x into 5 right x elements and equals to 5 you just take out this diff and you get that how many steps are needed to convert this particular sub array with all the values equals to 5 okay similarly these elements are greater than 5 okay so for all these elements you will have to perform the decrement operation take out the sum take out the sum of all these elements let's assume that is s2 okay that is s2 now what do you need to do simply if you convert all these elements into 5 what is the final sum that you will get you will get 5 into n minus x so take the absolute values of these two this and this and that will be your final answer okay so first thing sort the array so that you can divide it into sets second thing you need to find the sum now how do you find the sum obviously you can't reverse the array so if you are familiar with prefix sum we can use the logic of prefix sum prefix sum says that for an index i okay this is my if this is my array then i'll construct a new array that is known as prefix okay prefix so this guy will hold this this particular index this particular index will hold the sum of all the values from 0 to i so ith index holds the sum of all the values from 0 to i that's the main approach so now if i want to find the sum of this particular sub array what i'll do i need to find the sum from 0 to x and similarly this is probably x plus 1 to something like this okay so that is what we need to do the exact indices i'll show you that i'll, I'll show you in the code okay so this is the approach now just see this is my main function i'll start from here okay i'll start from here this is my main function the first thing that i do is sort the array okay uh, this is the number of elements i have okay and these three lines what i am doing i am calculating i am computing the prefix array now in this prefix array just to make uh, the handling of indices easier what i have done i have started my indexing from one okay just see prefix of one equals to nums of zero just so that uh, i don't have to handle that if I, uh, the index is greater than zero or something like that right so that is why right. so in short uh, this is your prefix array prefix of i plus one equals to prefix of i plus nums of i okay so the sum of elements from zero to i will be held in i plus one th index simple that's what it means okay this is my answer array these are the number of queries i have okay now let's see what is the core logic the core logic is this is the target element this is the target element this is the value uh, in which i need to convert all the elements okay now i'll co count how many small elements are there how many elements are smaller than this particular target value okay because for all those elements i'll have to apply the increment operation so i've written a utility function binary search count we'll see what this what what it does but this is what i've written your current answer for the current query your answer is zero now once you get the number of small elements what you will do the number of small elements into target okay remember what i showed you this x into 5 okay we'll do the exact same the number of small elements into target minus minus prefix of a small element count okay because we have computed the prefix array so we are found we are we are uh, basically fetching the sum of uh, these small count elements that you have got okay so suppose five elements were smaller so you fetch prefix of five because this will store the sum of elements from zero to index four or first five elements. Okay. So you get this. Now, how many elements are larger than this target value? So that is n minus small elements. Okay. Now, how do we get the, how do you get the sum of these values? So if this is your array, if this is your array, okay. So 
द लास्ट इंडेक्स विल होल्ड द सम ऑफ ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन द एरे करेक्ट एंड सपोज यू वॉन्ट द लास्ट टू वैल्यूज सो वट डू यू डू यू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस प्रीफिक्स ऑफ एन रिमेंबर द इंडेक्सिंग इज फ्रॉम वन ओके प्रीफिक्स ऑफ एन माइनस प्रीफिक्स ऑफ सपोज टू वैल्यूज आर लार्जर सो आई आई एल गो दीज आर दू वैल्यूज राइट सो इट विल बी एन माइनस n minus the number of large values okay so n count n count simple okay so this is what we will do remember the indexing is from one so prefix of n minus prefix of n minus large count minus what is the resultant sum of these values the number of elements into target okay you add that into your answer and finally you uh, you add this answer into your uh, list right this is the core logic now what is binary search count Uh, this is the utility function that I have written. So uh, 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 means I am not going to explain you the binary search, but it basically takes an array, takes the number of elements you have, and takes the key. So its job is to basically search for this key and return you the number of elements that are smaller than uh, this given key. Right? You can look into this code. It's easy to uh, like understand basic binary search. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this problem, right? I hope you learned something new from this video. Do support it by giving it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well. In case of any queries, uh, add that into the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.